Hey, this is Firestarter, and welcome to my Let's Play of Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes Beta. Now, I don't have much experience with the original game. I only put in a couple games, and I sucked terribly at it, and I gave up on it really quick. But just recently, I saw a uh, developer YouTube video on this standalone expansion, and it piqued my interest in the game, so I'm going to give it another try. And it also reminded me of an old game called Master of Magic, and I loved that game. So, let's just get going here. I'm going to create a character, and I'm going to name him Firestarter. What faction to pick? Hey, these people look cool. Adepts, they start with the shard harvesting technology. Player also starts with an additional 40 mana. Death worship, no armor. This faction can't craft any armor beyond leather. Champions are still able to use armor they find. I don't know, I, death worship, adept. Those look like two factions, or uh, traits rather, that I like. I'm gonna stick with that. And I am going to go with fire. Fire and death. Uh, it says warlock. The unit, spell dam or the unit spells do 50% more damage. Well, I will choose that. So it looks like I'm gonna focus uh, a lot on spell casting. I'm going. I'm going to need to if I'm not going to be able to craft any armor besides leather. Talents. Ten percent experience and plus two spell mastery per level. That sounds ideal. I'm going to check that. I can't have more than one. All right. Appearance, equipment, 8 attack minus 1 crit chance, 4 attack, but plus 3 mana from kills and 25% additional spell damage. I'm gonna choose that. I have no more points. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Can't say I like the hood though. There we go. Head. I'll choose the cool looking mohawk hair. <laughs> I'll go with the white eyes, body. He's like, hey, I'll choose him. What benefits do I have for increasing these? I assume weaknesses gives me a point. Sure does. Occasionally strikes allies when making melee attacks. Well, I'm straight up. Spellcaster. It could be ideal for me. Plus one to attack, plus five unrest in all cities. And I don't think I like that. I know that unrest decreases production in your cities. I'm gonna go with the clumsy. And then I'm gonna choose either fire or death. I'm gonna go with fire. But that's cool. Oh yeah, I like this. A little Highlander action. It's kind of 
trying to be a pimp or something. <laughs> um, yeah, why not? I'll go with that. Cool. World size. I'll go with huge. Map type. I think I might just keep all this stuff here at default. Ridiculous, then insane. Random. I'll go with normal. Okay, 8 is the maximum. I'll keep all the victory conditions enabled. Let's get it going. Okay, now from watching that developer YouTube video, I know that I can press Control N and get a new start. I think I will do that here. This does not look very good at all. Though I do feel like this is kind of cheating it a bit, but whatever. Alright, and we do have this essence thing. I think I want at least two essence. I'm going to do this one more time. Sweet. We have five food for... I do want the essence though, but I wonder how important it is. I mean, I know that the, the food here directly impacts how large or how fast maybe your cities grow. But I know these essences are useful. I can cast spells on my city. I'm just going to go ahead and settle right there. And I'm... Okay, how much unrest do my city start with? 24% and that gives a penalty to city's production and research. Yeah, I'm gonna handle that uh, unrest situation here. And research, just because the developer said it was good, I, I'll go civics. Oh look, here's the building that gives additional minus 10% unrest. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Can't forget to cast some spells. Oppression reduces unrest in the city. Hell yeah. And meditation plus one mana per essence in the enchanted city. I have two, so plus two mana. Let's go out and explore. Most of what the crates contain has been ruined except for a single item. Crystal crag to produce crystal. I wonder what that's for. Makes the unit immune to physical damage for three turns. I'm sure I can put that into good use. Increases maximum hit points by one. Awesome. Humble in. A wide eyed young man approaches you, visibly shaking. Rats, they're everywhere. They've infested my family's, family's burial grounds. I will give you a Doom Club if you help me. I'm not sure if that Doom Club's going to be very useful. The medium threat? <laughs> rats on my specialty? Uh, why not? Clear out the rat's nest. There. I wonder if I'm uh, powerful enough to do this. I'm gonna give it a try. Instruction completed. Gildar per season plus two. And it looks like I am. Um, I have a minus 0.1 net income, so I will go ahead and craft that or build that. Meanwhile, I'll go down here and 
complete this quest. The rats gave you a few scratches, but you've cleared them from the ruin. Return to the inn and report that the deed is done. Really? I thought I'd have to attack rats. We have here 40 of 40 health, 57 of 59. Level 2, 4 hit points. I'm gonna go ahead and attack them. There's 4 of them, and they actually have. One of them has 4 hit points, and the rest have 12. Alright, move here. Oh, wait. No melee. I could wind up hitting my own people here. Skills. Drains one hit point from the victim. That doesn't sound very much at all. Spells. Where's my tooltip? I need to know what this is. Enchant a uh, champion's weapon. Does plus two fire damage. I wish the font size is bigger. Burning hands, three adjacent enemies are blasted with heat, taking seven fire damage. Flame dart, a fiery strike, three damage. Burning hands. Oh, that's cool. And there was a resist. Oh, that's cool. I forgot the video uh, shows that you can. Well, obviously here too that you can have a flanking bonus. Oh my god, my champion is down already. This is not a good start. So what happens to my champion and does he even gain experience? I guess not. I'm gonna run back up to uh, the Humble Inn. My city, or settlement, has grown to level 2. The town, uh, devote the city to agriculture and financial pursuits. Devote the city to research and scholarly pursuits. Or devote the city to the military and defense. I'm going to go with town. No construction. I think I'm going to build a militia. Then go with... Negates the unrest penalty from the amount of cities in your empire. Plus 1 growth, plus 10 fame. Or the well. Food bonus in city, plus 25%. I'm going to need more food to uh, grow this to level 3. I'm going to go with the well. Alright, oh, I'm going over there. There are enemies in my territory. They, they won't come and attack my city, will they? I'm gonna keep an eye on them. You place the rat's corpse at the young man's feet. I'll take the Gildar. Or you had better pay what you promised. I'll take the Doom Club. 10 attack, minus 4 initiative. Uh, somebody will find use for that, I guess. Your fame has grown far and wide, attracting legendary heroes to your cause, but only one will join your service. Okay, only this one has a spell book, and she actually has two. Fire Princess and Death Princess. It's up my alley. I'm gonna go with the spellcaster. I've also learned from that developer video that 
you can send a hero to your town and lower unrest. I'm going to pay attention to that. Um, details. 9% unrest. <clears throat> Now we have a 4% rest, so that does work. I'm going to merge these two units together. Technology Research Civics. Alright, um, I can either go with plus 50% research or food. I'm going to go with food. Okay, so... Food bonus in city... Now what's that plus 25% in yellow? And then it says plus 50% in green. I assume I have already a 25% bonus and I'll upgrade to a 50% bonus? Unrest minus 10% or food bonus. I'll go with the food bonus. Most of what the crate contains has been ruined except for a single item, which are leather boots. Okay, I'll have to pass that on to my other hero. doesn't look like very good tiles here at all to build a city. A bear cub. Okay. I'm surely gonna defeat this one. Spells. Flame dart. My spells feel so weak. Especially when I can do a, a 23 hit. Looks like I leveled up and I am going for the mage. Plus one fame allows the unit to summon a burning wrath in tactical combat. Okay, I see more uh, tiles I can settle on, but not very impressive at all. And I have Troll's Army, which has 67 cumulative health. A man barely sober enough to walk stumbles towards me. I am Bako, warrior, warrior of. He seems to drift off for a few seconds. You're about to walk past him. When he continues, I challenge you. No one defeats Bako. I'll uh, go ahead and take that challenge, but I have to deal with my research first. I'll go with knowledge. Okay, he's going to come to uh, melee range soon. That only... Okay, now that does 7 fire damage, so I'm going to go ahead and cast that. Resisted. Oh my god, he is going to beat me. 
makes the unit immune to physical damage for three turns. Burning hands. Resist it. Enchant my sword. Or, oh my god, this is embarrassing. I let a drunk man beat me. But I do see some promising stuff here. Immobilized for four seasons. That was embarrassing. What am I going to go with here? Workshop production per material plus one. Materials determines the base production of a city. I'll go ahead and do that. Skip a few turns so I can move my hero. Firestarter stationed in Hagust is no longer immobilized. Plus one fame, and apparently they walked on my tile too. Or that was weird. We're kind of on top of each other. A fire starter has no hit points though. There is no difference between a bandit leader and a king, except that you imagine you deserve your role, and I know I have stolen mine. A fire starter is under attack. Well, I have no choice but to do that. Let's not resist Flame Dart. 16 hit points, I'll target him. Ooh. I'm gonna go for the flanking bonus. Actually, I'm gonna walk here first. take my flanking bonus on this guy. And can I just drag that uh, flame dart? Oh, there's a cooldown on it. Interesting. Well, he's going to stay back. <laughs> so many dodges. That's cool. Can I drag Flame Dart? Skip your turn. Wait, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Click to assign hotkey. Okay. I'll put it in place of curse. So I hit three. Cast it on the, the wolf. He resisted it but died. I'll take it. Cool, I was worried about that unit there. Oh, it looks like my spearmen and stuff can level up. That's cool. Alright. 
going to walk over this way, grab that, and probably clear out this area here so I can grab one of these tiles. Construction is complete. What is my unrest right now? 4% because of the hero that's in there, or champion, whatever they're called in this game. So I'm going to go with the the tower dominion heals 80 hit points removes a random injury I'm not going to attack that yet until I Gain all my hit points back. Knowledge has completed. Okay, that was a shard harvesting I started with charms. Just gonna go ahead and get leather working, get that out the way. I could take those on. They're gonna go ahead and attack me. Let's do it. Do a little fireball or a flank dart. Keep them all together to keep some kind of flanking bonus. I'm going to skip this turn once. Simple enough. Fire starters leveled up. All right, plus fifteen experience, plus twenty weight capacity, which leads to plus eight hit points. Now, I could go that route. Oh, must be level five. But I can choose this, which has. Shadow Bolt. I'm gonna go with that. Crystal Crack, they produce crystals. Oh, my tower is completed. Hmm, alright. Go ahead and get that plus one. I don't cast water spells, but I gain mana. I'm going to go ahead and build that. Your empire grows strong, but remember it is Magnar of Magnar who now sits upon the Kurjan's throne. Magnar of Magnar, okay. Uh, what is this, young? Mirror elemental. My shrine produced it. And no construction. 
Okay. If I do this, that uh, shrine will summon a mirror elemental. I really want the city to level up. And a garden will give me plus 15 food. I'm gonna go with that. And bring my elemental into town. I lost it all once, but I will atone for my weakness. Okay, I'm level 3 now with, where's my hit points? 19 to his 23. Man, I'm just going to do it. Battle. Oh, I have my whole army with me this time. Shadow Bolt. Put that here. Bolt of Night strikes a victim doing 6 damage and reducing their spell resistance by 8. Wow, he does a lot of damage. I don't feel so embarrassed now <laughs> from the last battle. Bako lays confused on the ground, looking skyward. What happened, he asks. You are a fool. It almost got you killed. You begin to leave, but he scrambles up after you. At a look, he stops, holding his arms in the air. Wait, he says, let me join you. Hmm. Is he just a regular unit or a or an actual like champion? He's an actual champion. Well, I'm glad I came back for that. I'm surprised it let me uh, attack him with my army. That's probably a bug. Construction completed. I have enough food to level up, it appears, so I am going to get that water shrine. And Firestarter and his party, whoa. His hit points equals 338. That's a cute little dragon. Um, 113 hit points. So that means if he has 113 hit points, there is more than one in the stack. There's at least three. He's not going to come and chase me, is he? No. But I have some good tiles down here to build on. treasure chest. Inside the chest you find an item. A spear. Where's the trade? So this guy is using a hammer with 6 attack and minus 4 initiative. Bash has a chance equal to the damage done of knocking the victim prone or crushing blow 100% attack, but you lose your next action. The spear has a 6 attack plus 10 accuracy. Uh, he'll be immune to counter attack, ignores 50% of the victim's defense, impales strike an opponent and whoever is behind him. That sounds more useful. Also, let me give you these boots. 
Hey, that's pretty cool. Everything works. Oh man, 130. New technology researched. There's no, I guess this is trading. Roads between cities, economic treaty. We got barracks. I'm going to go with administration. pretty large map. Okay, I know not to fuck with uh, these guys either. Sweet. This one has 24 hit points. The other one had 12, I believe. No construction. I am going to train a pioneer. I know that this will stop my city's growth, but I wonder how bad. We want to let you know that we have just uncovered the secret of heroes. The secrets of the lost magi are now ours. Well, congratulations, Magnar of Magnar. I hope that works out for you. I'm going to bring this guy towards the city so he can escort the pioneer. build something. A study gives more research per season, per turn, minus 10% on rest. Or faction food per grain. I'm going to go with the study. There's a toll for passing through these lands. All right. It's a medium threat level, but they don't have very much hit point. Oh, this guy does. I think we can take him. Go with the shadow bolt on this group here. Awesome. And my new hero. Let's try him out. Oh, you know what? I could have done that impale thing. I'm not going to waste the mana on that. Just gonna have him go forward. Things are working out a lot better for me this time around. Oh, I hope they won't. Scroll removes the target's defense for three turns. You guys go up this way. Hmm. Yeah, how do I unlock these? 
Looks like I'm gonna have to start reading the forums, googling or something. Ten hit points each, except for this one who, who has twelve. Alright, fire starter. They sound like they're like undead or something like that, something like that and Oh, I'm curious. Will the Shadow Boat work on those? Apparently they will. Okay. Grave Seal, Infection, and Impale. Save your mana, dude. I could have done it again. I could have gone on this side and impaled both of those guys. Melee attacks also do two poison damage per round to the victim. That's equipable. I'm not going to do melee, but my partner here can use that. Plus 15 research. I'm going to go with the bell tower this time around. And my research is complete. Yeah, it makes sense to uh, get agriculture for food. Okay, let's try not to get too close to that dragon. I just want to escort my pioneers and I'll be done with that. And I would like for them to be built on that tile. Bell tower is complete. A town hall will reduce unrest. Additional zone of control. Festival food bonus in city. Gildar bonus in city. Um, is there an immediate advantage for me having a zone of control bonus? doesn't appear that way. I am going to go with Festival. Wow, look at this Magnar of Magnar guy. He has 42 faction power, whatever that means, and I have 19. So apparently, whatever whatever I'm doing, it's not good enough. Look at Magnar's army. So he's somewhere this way. Oh wait, I see his borders. I want to hurry up and uh, grab that tile. Settle. Very nice. And the city starts with an unrest of 41%. Not cool. So I'm going to build a cleric, which reduces unrest. I'm going to queue up the merchant. 
bell tower, workshop, and I'll leave it at that. And actually this is going to end this episode of uh, the Let's Play. If you have any tips for me, leave me some comments and let me know what I'm doing wrong. I'll see you guys next time.